Hello, I'm uh, Francesco De Misa here with another Java program. Uh, so in this one, uh, I'm going to be uh, showing off a program which translates an English sentence into Pig Latin. So this is where it's going to be taking a group of consonants uh, in a word, and each word in each word in the sentence. Uh, all the consonants until the next vowel are going to be moved to the end and it is going to be combined with a set group of letters, and in this case, it's going to be A, A, Y. So I have an example down here uh, before I actually uh, show anything off. So uh, the sentence is, hello there. And so it's going to take all the consonants until the vowel, which in hello is just H. Um, so it's going to be taking it to the back, and then it's going to be L-O, hey. And then with there, it's going to have two consonants, so it's going to be moved to the back, so air they. So this is the code that allows for this to happen. So in the main method, uh, the only thing that's going to be done is the scanner, which is going to get the user input, input for the actual sentence, and then call the pig Latination method. Um, so the pig Latination method is to sort of create the new pig Latinated sentence. And the idea that I used for actually um, translating an entire sentence was to go word by word, where this uh, method right here would actually um, separate the word. Um, it would check to see where the word is. Um, create a, a new substring of that, um, and then translate it with the translate word method. So once it gets an individual word, it'll go down here to translate word, and it's going to do a couple things. So this first for loop is going to uh, be checking if at any point there is a vowel in the word, and if there is a vowel, then that's going to be seen as the limit for the a new substring, which is the part that's going to be moved to the end. It's going to uh, make the translated word the actual substring. Uh, it's going to make the translated word uh, the other substring. Um, that other substring being the um, the original word but without the consonants. So it's going to take uh, that um, that uh, series of letters, like LO, add a dash, and then the ending, which is going to be the consonant groups, and then add A to the end. And it's going to return that word to go back into the Pig Latin, Pig Latination method um, and add it into the Pig Latinated sentence. Now, something to note in the pig Latination method is that it has to be able to detect the last uh, word in the string. So, this should say word. The last word in the string. Um, uh, just because of some weird stuff that happens with Java. Um, so, if, if it is the last word in the string... Um, then it's going to have to translate that word individually and then add it to the end of the sentence. And so um, we're also using a counter in order to count the spaces, um, which is also important. And so then back to the translate word, because that's it for the pig Latination method for the entire... Uh, actual sentence. Now, in terms of special cases, um, there's a couple of things that can happen. So, for example, um, if it starts with Y, um, then it has a different case where it's going to... Uh, if it has Y at any point, it's going to sort of count it like a, a vowel um, in some way. 
And this this last this last method method is just a, a boolean method to check for for uh, vowels. It's it's used here in the um, translate word. It's just checking the vowels. Um, it's being called for this if statement. Um, and then this last line is just security. So if someone decides to put a word that only has consonants in it. Um, it's just going to put A at the end instead of moving anything um, because there are no vowels for it to stop at. So, and then of course it's going to print out the pig Latinated sentence. So if we have an example here, I'll run the code. So let's say, yay, the code works. Perfectly. So as you can see, there a a e they owed k orcs way perfectly pay, and that is a pig Latinated sentence, um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you.